In August 2025, astronomers reported the arrival of two objects whose behavior challenged established cometary science and raised questions that extended beyond natural explanations. The first was provisionally named C2025 R2 Swan after its detection on 12th of August by the Swan instrument aboard SOHO. Within hours of discovery, it became apparent that this was not a typical faint comet requiring deep imaging, but instead a massive structure with an apparent angular diameter of 2.5 degrees, equivalent to five full moons and a magnitude around 7.4, easily detectable with binoculars. Amateurs confirmed the sighting within days, capturing extended and unusually bright coma structures. The International Astronomical Union formally announced the discovery shortly thereafter, emphasizing the extraordinary dimensions and brightness. SWAN quickly became the subject of intense monitoring, and as the data accumulated, it diverged further from established expectations. At nearly the same time, another object was under scrutiny. 3I Atlas, an interstellar visitor on a hyperbolic trajectory, had been identified only days earlier. Its significance was not primarily its brightness, but its chemical composition and dynamical anomalies. Spectroscopy showed that the coma was dominated by carbon dioxide emission at the 4.3 micron band, five times stronger than typical cometary water vapor emission. The expected water lines were almost absent, and iron-bearing features common in cometary spectra were missing as well. This made 3I Atlas chemically distinct from nearly every previously studied comet. More surprising were the dynamical signatures. Observers recorded stepwise accelerations occurring roughly every two weeks. Each acceleration coincided with photometric shifts and spectral modulation, including color changes from red to neutral and back. The correlation between CO2 release and acceleration implied a directed mechanism rather than a passive outgassing process. Both objects, although discovered separately, were soon linked in discussion because of their orbital geometry. SWAN, on a long period trajectory estimated at more than 22,000 years, approached from high inclination, about 60 degrees from the ecliptic. Atlas, interstellar in origin, entered from a nearly perpendicular vector close to Sagittarius. Orbital solutions showed that perihelion passages would occur within three days of each other in October 2025, with Swan on 20th October at a distance of 150 million kilometers from the Sun, and Atlas on 17th October at about 203 million kilometers. The perihelion separation between the two bodies was therefore only about 50 million kilometers, less than the average minimum distance between Earth and Mars. The probability of two such bright, anomalous objects arriving independently and simultaneously with such close solar distances is extremely low, yet the geometry leaves little doubt. Both bodies would be hidden from Earth-based observation between 8 and 18 October due to solar elongation limits meaning the critical days of closest approach would pass in observational blackout. Physical behavior provided further anomalies. Swan's coma did not simply expand symmetrically. Photometric monitoring revealed rhythmic micropulses, suggestive of controlled adjustments. Amateur spectroscopy hinted at nickel-cobalt features more consistent with engineered alloys than natural cometary surfaces. Observers reported a persistent silver-white halo that shifted in intensity with viewing angle interpreted by some as a plasma sheath. The overall brightness and stability of the coma exceeded the behavior of natural cometary outgassing, prompting comparisons to an active shielding mechanism. By contrast, 3I Atlas resembled a smaller, more agile body. Its acceleration events corresponded to energy outputs on the order of 10 gigawatts, comparable to 10 large nuclear plants. Swan's inferred luminosity and energy budget exceeded 10,000 gigawatts, surpassing even the entire terrestrial power output. This contrast led to analogies. Atlas as a drone performing agile maneuvers. Swan as a fortress, moving deliberately but with immense resilience. The differences extend beyond scale. Atlas produced discrete accelerations that coincided with color modulation and bursts of CO2 emission. Such behavior resembles controlled thrust or pulsed propulsion rather than sublimation. The magnitude of acceleration and the temporal regularity make natural explanations unsatisfactory, though not impossible. SWAN exhibited steady brightness, periodic photometric pulsations, and structural persistence. Its long orbital period of approximately 22,554 years suggests that it has visited the inner solar system before, potentially during the last glacial maximum.
Some researchers noted that this timing coincides with human prehistory, when monuments such as Gobekli Tepe were constructed and astronomical motifs entered human culture. While speculative, the coincidence supports narratives, in which ancient structures record celestial cycles of unusual objects, the juxtaposition of an interstellar object with highly anomalous chemistry and dynamics alongside a long-period body with exceptional brightness, both arriving simultaneously and hidden at perihelion, created a situation without precedent. Astronomers are accustomed to random comet arrivals, but rarely do two such extraordinary cases occur within the same week, converging toward the sun at nearly the same time. The blackout period amplified the mystery, ensuring that the most critical interactions would be missed. Interpretations diverged. The conservative view holds that both bodies are extreme but natural outliers. Swan could be an unusually large and bright long-period comet, and Atlas a volatile rich interstellar fragment. Non-gravitational accelerations can occur in comets with uneven venting, and compositional diversity among comets is greater than sometimes assumed. From this perspective, the conjunction is extraordinary but not impossible. The opposing view argues that several features resist natural explanation. Atlas exhibits accelerations too abrupt and powerful for sublimation, requiring energy comparable to human-engineered propulsion. Swan's photometric stability, spectral hints of metals, and plasma-like halo resemble technological constructs. Together, the two objects might represent probes or artifacts, coordinated in timing to coincide with Earth's inability to observe perihelion directly. Speculative hypotheses expanded on this. One proposal is that both objects are part of a mission using the Sun as a power source or navigational node. The blackout period could allow data transfer, energy harvesting, or rendezvous shielded from Earth observation. Atlas may serve as a scout transmitting information, while SWAN functions as a larger carrier or repository. Another theory is that the objects represent opposing factions or systems, converging near the Sun either to exchange data or to neutralize each other. The energy outputs of 10 gigawatts for Atlas and 10,000 gigawatts for SWAN suggest distinct classes of capability. Others connected the cycle of Swan's orbit to ancient climate shifts, positing that previous passages may have influenced human cultural memory, later encoded in monumental architecture. Regardless of interpretation, both objects forced a re-evaluation of assumptions. Bright long-period comets are rare but not unheard of. Yet Swan's dimensions place it among the largest in recorded history, comparable to hale -Bopp. Interstellar comets are extremely rare. With only two previous confirmed cases and Atlas added a third, yet with unprecedented chemical signatures, the probability of both appearing nearly simultaneously is very small. The combined anomalies of energy, chemistry, and dynamics push natural models to their limits. Observational limitations complicate matters. The blackout period deprived astronomers of continuous monitoring at perihelion, the time of maximum activity. High-resolution radar and space-based assets were not publicly reported to be redirected. Proposals to schedule post-perihelion follow-ups were advanced, but the critical interactions may already have occurred beyond observation. This gap leaves room for speculation and reduces the ability to constrain models with data. The discussion ultimately shifted from what these objects are to what their appearance implies. If natural, they expand the known diversity of cometary behavior and composition demonstrating that volatile mixtures, orbital coincidences, and energy releases can exceed expectations. If artificial, they represent the most direct evidence of extraterrestrial engineering ever observed, designed to operate on timescales beyond human civilization. Either way, the case requires serious consideration of how anomalies are treated in astronomy and how much weight is given to coincidence versus intent. The broader cultural resonance is unavoidable. The timing of Swan's orbital cycle overlaps with major transitions in human prehistory. The sudden sequence of anomalous interstellar objects within less than a decade, Oumuamua in 2017, Borisov in 2019, Atlas in 2025, and Swan in the same year, appears to escalate in complexity. Some have interpreted this as a sequence of probes responding to human radio leakage into space. While unproven, the concept highlights the possibility that our technological presence has not gone unnoticed. In conclusion, Swan R2 and 3I Atlas constitute the most extraordinary dual arrival of anomalous objects in the inner solar system in living memory. Their physical properties, 
chemical compositions, dynamical behaviors, and synchronized geometry challenge, conventional cometary models, and open the door to broader interpretations. Whether extreme natural phenomena or artifacts of advanced origin, their study underscores the need for flexible frameworks, robust observation strategies, and open scientific dialogue. The absence of complete perihelion data ensures that debate will continue, but the significance of the 2025 conjunction will remain as a marker in the ongoing effort to understand both our solar system and its interstellar visitors.